Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! You know, I have been staring at this one big box on my workstation for, uh, for a few months now. And I keep thinking, oh, I want to open it and play with it, or uh, it just looks like it's, you know, big and cumbersome, and it's just going to get in the way while I, I try to clean up. And, and now that I've, you know, the girls are, are kind of settled into their routine here, uh, I thought, all right, well, let me try and spend some more time in the basement. Uh, my gardening has really taken off a lot. Uh, my greenhouse finally shipped. But I keep staring at this box every time I come down here. And I thought, you know what? How about for this rainy Friday, we uh, cut the tape on the one, the only, you're gonna love this, Cyberverse Optimus Prime. This behemoth, I don't even know how to describe this thing. The Ark turns into armor. This is a thing. This happened. The, he, ca <laughs> he carries the Ark on the back. And then the Ark... The Ark... It turns into his armor. Now, alright... In, uh, in Transformers Prime, there's a Unicron toy that turns into armor for Optimus and Megatron. All right, well, you know, Unicron can come in many different sizes. It could be, uh, oh, this is an extension of Unicron. Uh, maybe Unicron's a planet. Uh, maybe he's, uh, uh, you know, he gets destroyed and he becomes a little tiny spaceship like in uh, Cybertron. But not this. You can't explain this in the lore. I mean, you just really can't. I mean, this is like the Micronauts arc. All right, if you wanted to say the Micronauts came to our dimension and they had an arc and they decided that they should just park it recklessly on the back of Optimus Prime <laughs> and drive let him drive around and make sharp turns or get on the highway with the arc on the back. <laughs> this makes no sense. All right. So in Trans back to Transformers Prime for the Legends, there's this big kind of endoskeleton that becomes like a troop transporter and then it, it kind of folds up to stand up. And it looks like Optimus Prime? That, okay, I, sure, look, they got a giant vehicle. But this is the Ark. I mean, this is, this is like, holy ground, you know? This is, <laughs> it's the Ark. And he's gonna wear, he's gonna wear the Ark. And now Optimus Prime's gonna be orange, orange. So I don't even think we need to cut the tape. What we gotta do is cut all the straps that hold it in. So, toy companies do this a, a lot with younger skewed toys because they want the kids to touch them, right? Because tactile contact makes the kid want something more. So if they can touch it rather than if there was a, a plastic film here to prevent them from touching it, the problem is this gets really dusty when it sits in your basement and you're doing drywall and stuff. But, you know, that's, that's another issue. So, uh, 
you, you know, I got to get two of each, but you know, with something like this, I bought one and I put it on the shelf. Cause these were like 50 bucks when they came out. I think they were more than, maybe they were like 55, 60 bucks. Anyway, I found one at like a Home Goods and it was uh, $23.99. And I said, all right, that's the right price. And it's been sitting here and I've been opening Viacons and Viacons and, uh, and Sharkticons and, and other things. And, and I just got a whole pile of stuff and I've got two giant bins and all that behind me of crap I need to open that I've been saving for, for this purposes. Boxes over here. But this big giant dumb thing has been staring me down and I thought you know what let's just get it over with so I can throw this box out actually I've started composting <laughs> yes so I've started composting and you can throw what's called brown matter in there and brown matter can consist of sticks dry leaves newspaper or cardboard so I'm actually going to cut this box up and compost it that's right compost oh I'm more excited for what I'm gonna do to the box and what I'm gonna do with this toy let's start with Optimus he's he is the brand no matter what anybody says about Bumblebee, Optimus is still the brand. He's still your best seller. Did that do it? That did it. All right. At least we have an Optimus. There's no... God damn it. The least they could have done is put some knee joints in this thing. Ah, oh, you know the... Uh, okay. You know these these things that you get at like the dollar store that are like ten bucks at the dollar store. This thing has more articulation than this, and I haven't even messed around. All right, the arms move. Ah! He stands up. Great. Actually. You know what? So look, that's that's robot mode. Now he's transforming. Actually, not much of a difference there. They could have probably just gotten away with this and put some more articulation in it because this actually looks more G. Look at this. This looks more G1 than this does. Oh, but Rick, it's Cyberverse. It's supposed to be for kids. So. Not my kids. They don't play with this. Uh, what's what's happening here? Uh, let's try and transform this without using instructions. Ah! All right, hang on. Yep, okay. I usually don't transform things on this show because uh, I like to look at instructions or sometimes I gotta look at uh, Professor YouTube and have the doc walk me through it. No one in particular, just whatever video I find that's in English. God, this thing is just... Come on. I just want you to snap together. At least give me that. At least snap together the right way. Alright. There we go. There we go. Look. There we... That's it. 
<sighs> All right. Now the Ark. You may remember the Ark as that giant spaceship that brought the Transformers to Earth in multiple series. There it is. Hey, we finally got an Ark toy. I think the Titanium Ark was better than this. Alright. Oh, it's so flimsy. What is this? Compost. So now we have the arc. And I assume this blade fits in the back. Oh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. So one time, this was back, uh, man, I want to say this was back during the change from Armada to Energon. I was at a Target in New Jersey. It was the Target in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. It was a new Target back then. And I walk in, and I find a whole bunch of stuff that I needed. So I'm walking out with a big pile like this. Big pile. I, I might have had like seven Transformer boxes. And I hear over the loudspeaker, security Transformers. I'm like, that's odd. That's odd. That's really odd. So I get to the register and there's all these target employees lined up at the register looking at me and I pay and whatever it was like $180 200 bucks whatever it was and I take my two big bags of transformers and I walk out and they're all looking at me like I was gonna steal something that always stuck with me All right, so there it is. You make sharp turns, the arc goes flying off. But at least it stays on there pretty good. <laughs> but it's the arc. I mean, how ridiculous is this? This is the arc, all right? This is like, all right. Luke Skywalker has an X-Wing, but a little Millennium Falcon lands on the back. And he can fly around with that little falcon on the back. I mean, that's... This is preposterous. Oh, man. I actually think it looks better like that. I mean, to me, it looks more like Optimus Prime like this. You know, he's got the big belly. All right. But. God, I just. Knees, people. We need some knees. Jeez. He's got back toes. Those are called back toes. So he doesn't fall when you put all the weight of this three ounce arc on it. All right, so we got a blade, and the blade hooks up here. I assume there's instructions inside the box. I just didn't need them. All right, this thing looks like there's a li oh, yep, there's a thing there. Let me guess. Oh, yeah, there. Oh, there it goes. Glad I took the time to read those instructions. You know, it is for kids. You know, much younger than me. I mean, you know, I'm a kid, but I'm going to guess these are shoulder pads? Yeah. 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 It almost looks like Unicron. It almost looks like he's wearing Unicron pads. 
All right. So here's what I would have done with this. All right, look. You know what? Okay, so here's the arc. You know what I would have done with that instead of making it the arc? I would have made it into Energon Jetfire. Think about it. Energon Jetfire, and then it power links. And you could introduce power links armor instead of calling it spark armor. Just saying. Oh, look at that. So there's a little motion here, right? All right, you can't see that too well with the... All right, so um, I fold this out and then watch. The, these back cannons move up. So if we put that on there, Look at this. <sighs> you know, I'm sure kids love this. I'm sure they love it. I mean, it looks like Cheetor. I mean, this even looks like the like the face Cheetor, which is like a remold of like the Bumblebee Spark Armor. I mean, it looks like he's wearing Cheetor, right? Like, oh, okay, this, this could have even been, like, Cybertron Unicron. Ah. You know what? It could also be the Axelon. Why not? Why not? Right? You paint, you make the Nemesis version of this for Cyberverse, and you paint this and you call it the Axelon. Why not? It's got a good weight to it at least, but it's just, it's hollow plastic. And if you were to drop this, I bet you this all shatters into very sharp pieces. Should we try that? No, let's not try that. Oh, there it is. Spark Armor Optimus, and he's got a little stabby weapon here. Uh, let's put the back toes away. He, he still stands up. Look at that. You didn't even need the back toes. You could have put knee joints in there. Let's see. This is him standing next to her. This is him standing next to a Viacon. This is him standing next to the worm. I'll get around to We're going to do a whole episode on when I'm ready to hang this up. All right, there it is. Spark Armor Optimus Prime. So what I'll do is I'll cut the plastic out of here. All right. Or it's like a... Done with that. So I'll recycle that part. cut the rest up to little pieces to make compost. And there are instructions. There are instructions here in the back. Arc power. I wonder if there's anything here. Of course there's no bio, so it doesn't matter what this ship is. It it could just be as bath toy it doesn't matter there's no bio here to explain what what this is like what is this ship that connects to him it's just a thing there's no explanation of what this is of what what is the significant is this sentient is it 
is it a ship? What like like what is this? Right? There's no explanation here on the back. It doesn't even. All right. It says heroic. That's all it is. Optimus Prime, heroic Autobot, noble leader. So does that mean there are leaders that are not noble? Are there untrustworthy leaders? Oh. All right. I mean, it is what it is. At least I can put it on the shelf and it clears up some space. So remember, wash your hands. Uh, don't post, oh, I found this and I found this and I found this at this and this and this store. You don't need to do that. People need to stay home. Only go out if you need to go out. Hey, look, like I got to go to Walmart to get my mom's pres prescription. Yeah, I'll take a look, but I have to go to Walmart to get my mom's pres prescription. Not because I need to go toy hunting. All right. Be smart about things. Be nice to each other. Wash your hands. Remember to vote. And if you want to email me, uh, cut the tape at tftalk.net. Check out Mr. Starscream. He does things too. Monday night, we do like the podcast. We do microcasters on Tuesdays. And every other Wednesday, it's Ouch My Wallet. This is Ouch My Soul. It is what it is. All right. Be nice to each other.